Hello and welcome to Driver's Therapy. Today we have a special video because we have my friend Chris. Hi Dave, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and he brought out his 1993 Toyota Supra. It's not twin turbo, it's single turbo and it's a beast. And we have with us our 95 GTR. So we're just gonna kind of be talking about the cars and, uh, and going from there. So this should be a great video. All right, guys, so we have those two iconic 90s JDM cars, and Chris is like, we got to go cruising. So we did, and we broke a lot of necks, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, Chris's car sounds so mean. So real quickly, for the viewers out there, what do you got done to your car, just real quickly? Oh, uh, it's a single turbo conversion, um, and we've got a full uh, DC racing header on it and three and a half inch exhaust, uh, straight piped, basically. And about how much power, just roughly? I don't know, she's making like 550 to the ground. Yeah, and it's conservative. And it's an auto, so you know, it's not exactly accurate, but it's probably about 600 to the ground. I mean... Enough to go to jail. Yeah, uh, enough to have a lot of fun, but that sound, we'll have to, we'll have to let you guys hear that. <laughs> but it's really neat though, because as you guys know, I sold my Supra and I love all 90s uh, JDM cars. And as you can tell, the Supra just has a awesome front end and it's just a beautiful car. But if you really think about it, this is why these cars are going up in value, these 90s cars. Look how cool they are, guys. I mean, this is, they're not gonna make anything like this anymore, and it's just really neat. I mean, my main thing right now is with the GTR, it's a whole different world. Coming from rear wheel drive, I mean, really, there's not a lot of difference except there's some more confidence. It's, it's just kind of weird. It's my first all-wheel drive car. Have, have you ever owned an all-wheel drive car? I did have one for a little bit, yeah. What, what was it? Uh, I had an Audi A4, obviously it wasn't built, and then I had a, a 93 Eagle Talon TSI oh. with, a, with a GT35 ball bearing in it. That must have been a lot of fun. It, it was a lot of fun. Um, it hooked up really well. It had a little bit of torque steer, um, just because the front end would kind of pop up when it squatted and it would kind of do whatever it wanted, but it was a lot of fun. Those 4G63s, yep. I love them. It was a great car. You know, I really think Mitsubishi just hit it out of the ballpark mm -hmm. with those engines because they just love power. And they run forever. Yeah. It was an iron block, and I mean, we were pushing 450 through it, and I think maybe 18 pounds of boost, and that, it, it ran great all the time. It that, was rock solid reliable. That's awesome. Yeah, I had a, I had also Eagle Talon. It was the first generation body. I just I just love that thing. I think the previous owner did the uh, Evo swap, the Evo Turbo swap. Mm. It was a very common swap to do on those, and it was it was really neat. That's cool. So one of the things I really like about the GTR is that it's an inline six, and I think they really perfected that all-wheel drive part. But you can never go wrong with inline sixes because that two JZ. Mm -mm, yeah, I'm, I, I'm biased, so you know. Yeah, two JZ RBs. I mean, really, they knew what they were doing with the inline sixes. I mean, besides Toyota and Nissan, really, there wasn't a big inline six player that was very known. I mean. What, I mean, other than BMW, but yeah, know, but that's yeah, but really, we don't talk. About yeah, we don't talk about yeah, BMWs. Yeah. <laughs> As you could tell, we're like your traditional high schoolers. We're we're filming in a parking garage, so when a car comes, we got to dip and dive here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we were just talking about the inline sixes, and I think um, besides like BMWs, plastic engines. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I know Datsun had one of the first inline sixes mm -hmm. in like their... The 240 one. Yeah, 240Zs. And I mean, there's just a special sound to that. But Toyota and Nissan both got that right with the inline six. I, I couldn't agree more. And they were both twin turbos. So there's a lot of similarities in that part. And, um, and I, besides the all-wheel drive part, I mean, that's one of the main reasons that Supras uh, are just known for those thousand horsepowers is because... You know, you could just put that power to the rear. Uh, do you have to upgrade diffs? If you know, do you know about that? I, I've looked into that a little bit. I wanted to get an OS, what is it, Gaken diff for it. Because um, I have, mine was, mine's an auto with a drag transmission in it. And I've heard about the torsions kind of acting up. I've heard about some drivability issues once you really start making a lot of power. And once I do a little crank the boost up a little bit, I will most likely upgrade the differential just more for a safety thing so the diff doesn't snap and the car snap over steers and I put it into a pole. 
Did you see that sad video? Yeah, 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 yeah it's going around. Yeah. And that, that apparently is, was a differential issue. Oh, was it? So that's one of the things I've heard. I don't know. Yeah. I can't verify that. But the torsion, it torqued out, and then it's, it locked, and then unlocked, and skidded, and that was it. I know the shop is going in full, like, recovery PR mode. They're saying it's not their fault, but we're just glad everyone's safe. And it is sad, though, to lose another yeah, Supra. Fun. I didn't yeah. want to even drive it. I don't want to drive mine when I watch stuff like that. Yeah. So. Well, that's one thing a lot of people don't know, too, is that, you know, when it's cold out there, mm -hmm. tires is a big thing, especially mm -hmm. sports tires. They're, they're just, they turn hard and they turn what they call into a, a hockey puck. Yep. And, you and just, I've had that happen. I yeah. have had that happen, taking yeah. it out on a nice sunny day. Looks nice. Concrete's cold. Tires are cold. And she'll just spin. That makes sense. Yeah, I, even today, I saw you kind of taking it easy. It's smart. Oh, yeah. I, I really yeah. thought, like, you know, you, Chris is a good driver because, yeah, you don't want to step on it. It's cold. It's it's cold in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's one of the things that I also love about the GTR as far as, like, the all-wheel drive. And also, it's capped out. Like, he can't. I don't know. I'm not, like, a RB GTR specialist. There's some gurus out there. But, you know, an all-wheel drive system is a little more intricate a lot more moving parts you get the advantages of you know grip and traction and all that but if you want to push power i'm pretty sure stuff would break uh sure yeah, i mean like on that talent i had we had uh four spider gears in the center diff instead of two apparently that beefed it up quite a bit hmm. and um i didn't do any really hard launches with it but you could it had a you know it had a two-step on it and you could just launch it whenever you wanted let go of the clutch and yeah but it's hard on the transmission it's hard on the drive line it's hard on the mounting points so yeah i never launch no i don't either since <laughs> ever i mean guys you've heard it right i don't launch never have in my life never will it's just it just seems so wrong for a car to do that i'm the guy all the noises and yeah you can just hear your wallet opening yeah <laughs> as it takes off I'm a roll guy. Like, we're going to do 20 rolls, 30 rolls. If I'm in a Honda, we're going to do, I don't know, 15 rolls. <laughs> sure, whatever. Yeah. yeah, the more the merrier, right? Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm super excited because I still get to live here curiously through my friend Chris because he's got a Supra, same color. And I get to live through him. <laughs> yeah, he's, we're both excited. Yeah. And again, like I told you guys, you know I love my JDM cars. And it's just really special to drive these. And it's also really cool to meet people because wherever we go, right? Yep. Just Always. People love it. Yeah. Well, guys, thanks for joining us in our small chat here. You guys take care and uh, make sure you hit that subscription button. And do you have an Instagram, Chris? I do, and I haven't upgraded it in a while. Okay. Updated it, I need to do that. So You do with the sexy car, man. We I gotta, know, I know. Gotta I got to do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, you take care. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.